Well, I think it's very enriching in the sense that you meet new people, you, you come across, when you meet somebody coming from a different culture, the one you don't come from, you are not meeting a person, but you're meeting the whole culture. It's like your kind of window. It's like a, you open a window and you can have a glimpse of the entire culture. I definitely feel kind of very positive of having a multicultural, diversified environment. Challenging, but rewarding when it goes well. Well, I feel energized every day. I, I look forward to um, a, a classroom that is mixed up. You know, I like the chaos. I like the uncertainty that sometimes students have when they come into an environment that is not what they are used to or what they expected. Well, yes, yes, I do it on purpose. Why so? Uh, I, find, I would find it quite unfair if I call my program typically from innocent business that would be taught only by Finns, so the product would not be uh, what it's, it's supposed to be. I think it does, uh, because you meet your colleagues who come from a very diverse background, you learn many new things from them, uh, without being knowing it, you learn very in a very organic way that you're growing without noticing that you're growing. You're learning many things without knowing that you are learning things. And above all, when you meet students, uh, like in, in your IB program, we have students who are coming from very heterogeneous uh, culture setups. Uh, that makes the whole uh, experience or the journey are the process very much enriching. I think that if you look at the international business degree mandate, uh, we are supposed to uh, prepare students for work in international context. And the fact that we actually have that at the school means that we have a, a much better chance of accomplishing that. Basically, I, I would say that uh, if you remember that you do this work with your personality, and your own cultural experiences. And if you can bring that to the classroom, the students will get more accurate way or view of the, how the world really is. Because the world is not a monocultural place anymore. So I think to teach international business, our own, only option is to be inter, intercultural and international ourselves. So I would say yes, better outcomes. Um, and here, culture may mean many different things. So if we start from language and some uh, specific ethnic backgrounds and so on, so that's one thing. Uh, the other thing is people bring also the culture of specific disciplines that they represent. So if you have someone who is teaching accounting or statistics or some numerical methods or uh, something, for example, related to uh, skills that will be rely heavily on some quantitative type of natural type of science skills, hard skills. This person may bring, regardless of the culture he or she represents, may bring a different culture into the classroom and so on. I would say that the culture is one, one part of it. The other part is the experiences of the teacher, the personality of the teacher. So uh, I would not only think about national cultures as the things shaping. They are part of it, but they are just a part of what the teacher can bring to the students. It's, uh, everybody that works or studies at Yank brings their own traditions of teaching and learning to the classroom. And, well, I don't have uh clear statistic to share, but always when we ask uh, the students why did you come here, it is a uh, decision making factor in some of the cases. Mm -hmm. So there is a certain reputation, certain reputation that, that uh, people want to come here because we have this multicultural small laboratory yeah. on our campus.